Hello everyone, my name is Hao Wu. I'm from Intel Virtualization Enabling Team. This is my topic today, Scalable Work Submission in Device Virtualization. Okay, let's start. Um, this is the agenda of this topic. First of all, I would like to discuss scalability in virtualization for different types of device. Include the dedicated work queue and shared work queue based devices and also related challenges. And then I will introduce the new EQ command instruction on inter platforms and also its virtualization support which allows scalable work submission in device virtualization. Then I will use shared virtual addressing, SVA workload uh, submission as one example to demonstrate how the whole picture looks like with eco command. Okay, let's start with the first one. Scalability in device virtualization. There are two devices in this page. In the left side, this is a PCIe SRV based device. It supports multiple virtual functions. Each virtual function is independent interface which can be assigned to different uh, virtual machines. In the right side, it's an Intel scalable IOV device. It supports multiple ADIs, assignable device interface. And uh, each ADI can be assigned to different virtual machine. As dedicated work queue is implemented in VAPs and ADIs of these two devices, so they provide the scalability by hard partitioning the hardware resources. It will be quite difficult to increase the number of virtual functions or ADIs due to limited hardware resources on some devices. This is a scalability limitation for dedicated work queue based device. So, could we implement a shared work queue in device instead, in case that we cannot do a hard partition for device resources? And uh, if we really do that, how to ensure scalability in device virtualization? Okay, let's see how Shared work queue based device looks like here. This shared work queue is used by multiple users in host and the typical usage of shared work queue is to support shared virtual addressing, SVA. SVA allows device to use the CPU virtual address for DMA operation. And the device also can use the PASI ID process address space ID to distinguish the context of different workloads. And uh, DMA tra address translation will be performed by IMU at uh, requester ID plus pass ID granularity. Shared work queue in device virtualization. For sure, we can put a shared work queue into a virtual function and then assign it to a virtual machine to allow different users in si inside the virtual machine to share this interface, just like device in the left side. But uh, we also can share the same device interface to users in both host and uh, virtual machines as, de as a device in the right side. Actually, there is no hard limitation on the number of users for a shared work queue, so it can provide a better scalability by 
adding more and more virtual devices on the same shareable queue. Of course, one device can implement a dedicated work queue and the shared work queue together. Um, challenge in device virtualization. As shared virtual addressing SVA is used, then we are facing a challenge here. Users in virtual machines are not aware of host pass ID. So workloads are submitted together with pass, guest pass IDs. But uh, device and IOMU are using host pass ID for the DMA operation. So how to convert guest pass ID to host pass ID in device virtualization? A new instruction echo command is introduced to address this gap. Okay, we will move to echo command instruction introduction. Inco command is a new instruction on Intel platforms that automatically submit a workload to a device. It optimizes pass ID from iOS 32 pass ID MSR and then Inc store 64 byte command data to Inc register implemented in device MMO. This is the format of the command data from the spec. It includes the device specific com command area, which can just be a work descriptor. And uh, together with passive ID, which indicates the context of this work. IS32 pass ID members are managed by XM feature set as the pass ID supervisor state component and uh, updated by it per context switch. After SVA process binding, IS32 pass ID MSR will reflect uh, the uh, pass ID value associated with the process. So when this EQ command instruction is used by user-based application, it doesn't need to worry about the pass ID as you command the instruction optimizes it from the MSR automatically. And uh, this mechanism also can prevent uh, malicious pass ID to be written to device from the user-based application. Inco command is a non-posted uh, instruction which carries a status back if the command was accepted by device or not. For example, submission will fail to be accepted by the device if the shared work queue is already full. This allows the submitter to know the submission status and perform retry if needed. Inq command supervisor is similar to Inq command instruction, but only works in kernel space and uh, it optimizes pass ID value from command data directly. Uh, device requirements for Inq command. The differable memory write uh, is a non-posted non -posted request defined by PCIe spec. In order to support echo command instruction, device needs to support different 
memory write uh, completer capability and uh, requires all switch ports and the root ports have a differable memory write route enabled. In data streaming accelerator is the first device which supports echo command. This is the latest driver pad set under review. Here is the link to that submission. Okay, let's move to EQ command virtualization. First of all, I want to introduce the non-root mode operation of this instruction. Actually, EQ command has different operation in non-root mode. EQ command, EQ command and EQ command supervisor obtain the guest pass ID firstly and then it will perform guest pass ID to host pass ID translation automatically and then in queue store command data with host pass ID to device. As non-room mode in queue command performs the guest pass ID to host pass ID translation automatically, then it can address the gap we discussed in previous page on SVA workload submission. Okay, let's move to the next page for more details about the pass ID translation. Pass ID translation is the new feature introduced in VMX for inq command uh, virtualization. It's enabled by setting secondary process-based uh, VM execution control and the uh, pass ID T translation table is required to be linked by pointers in the VMCS. Pass ID translation table has two level data structure as you see in the right side. Pass ID low and high directory and uh, pass ID table. Different fields of uh, guest pass ID are used to select the pass ID table entry, which contains the associated host pass ID. When echo command run, runs in non room mode, the hardware use this table for translation. If it fails to translate uh, the guess passive, then exit will be triggered. KVM is required to manage this pass ID translation table for echo command virtualization. KVM needs updates translation per I.O. address based ID events. I always said uh, manages host the pass ID and its association to guest pass it. It will notify users on the pass ID status change. So KVM monitor I always set by and on by the events for translation update. You you can find more details about this in another KVM for your talk, which title is uh, Pass ID Management in KVM. Here is a link to that session. PassID translation table is a per VM table shared by all VMCS. Any modification to this, this table must be a revenue operation. That means KVM needs to kick all vCPUs into root mode and block VM entry until modification is done. 
This is a requirement from STM when modi modified data structure which is referenced by pointers in VMCS and controls non-room mode operation. Pass ID translation failure handling. Translation failure only happens when guest, guest is using an invalid guest pass ID. Any guest pass ID only can be used for DMA operation after a host pass ID is associated to it. The reason is device and IMU always use host pass ID for DMA operation. They never know about uh, guest pass ID. So in this VM exit handling, just set the ZF flag to 1 to indicate the failure to guest and uh, skip the instruction. RA32 pass MS arbitralization. As mentioned above, in ignore command non-run mode operation, ignore command optimizes case the pass ID from I32 pass ID MSR. So just pursue this MSR to the guest directly. As this RA32 passive MSR is managed by XSAVE, so enable virtualization support for XSAVE passive ID supervisor state component so that guests can use this extension to update uh, the MS mapper context switch. Okay, these are major changes required to support uh, eco command virtualization. Next, I will use SVA workload submission as one quick example to demonstrate the flow. This is a, this is an example that user uses in command to submit uh, SV workload in guest. Hope this can give a basic idea on the workflow. In in case guest want, wants the device to perform some write some write uh, data to a virtual buffer, it needs to prepare a work descriptor with target buffer information, including the address. So a uh, guest virtual address is filled into the work uh, descriptor. Then guest application can run equal command to submit this workload to the, to the device directory. The guest pass ID will be filled from IA32 passive MSR and translate automatically to the host pass ID. And uh, the work descriptor will be stored to device together with the host pass ID. Application needs to check uh, instruction status to make sure the submission was accepted by device. If device accepts this workload, it will perform a DMA operation, use GVA and uh, payload information indicated by the work descriptor and also the host pass ID. IOMMU will do the DMA address translation per RID plus pass ID. So the GVA will be translate, uh, translated to HPA for the DMA operation. Okay, this is uh, just an example. Okay, reference. 
There are some reference documentation, including kernel doc share virtual addressing with echo command, and also echo command spec, Intel scalable IOV documentation, and also Intel data streaming accelerator spec. This is a development uh, status. Currently, currently, we already have EQ command native support merged into the latest kernel. I will say the extension for notification is under review. Version 3 was submitted. This is the link to the version 3 passage. For EQ command uh, virtualization support, will submit soon, and uh, the code is under internal review now. Line migration support is not covered yet, so um, it is in the to-do list now. Okay, this is a summary of the, this talk. Dedicated work queue based uh, on how the partitioning of the resources has scalability limitation in virtualization. Share work queue with equal command support allows more scalable usage in device virtualization and same device interface can be shared by multiple users in host and uh, virtual machines. Additional hardware support is required to support echo command virtualization in, for example, PassID translation, XSAVE extension for PassID, and uh, corresponding changes in VM is also required to support uh, in Q command virtualization. Okay, that's all for my sharing of this talk. Thanks for watching this.